Well, welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today is a popular question I get asked all the time. And even though I've covered this in some of my lessons, my actual courses, so many people ask about it, I decided to make a Tech Help video about it. So today, I'm going to teach you how to copy the build to address to the ship to address. We'll make a little button and we'll click on it and we'll copy this stuff down to this stuff. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard to do. I'm going to show you two different methods. One, I consider the expert method, which is less than developer. We're going to use macro to do it. Okay. There's a lot of people that they tell me that they want to be able to do things like this, but they don't want to get into programming. They're scared of VBA, which it shouldn't be. So I'm going to show you the macro way first with no programming. And then after that, I'll show you the developer way, which I think is actually even easier. So you're going to see both ways how to do it. Today's question comes from Milton in Paramount, California, one of my platinum members. And I, I picked this question for today. It's been in the tech help queue for a while and a bunch of people have asked it, but right now it's October 8th, 2024. And I'm in Southwest Florida and we're waiting for hurricane Milton to hit us tomorrow. <laughs> so I saw this on the list. I'm like, I'm going to do Milton's question. Why not? <laughs> All right, Milton, you're up. Here we go. Milton says, how do I easily copy the build to address into the ship to address fields in an order form in Microsoft access? When I'm entering an order, I find it really time consuming to type the same address twice. I think there's gotta be a way to copy the build to address over to the ship to address automatically. Is there some trick or button I can make to make this quicker and easier? Yep, of course. And that's what we're going to see today. For today, as far as prerequisites go, I just want you to have watched my blank template video. It's where I build the tech help free template. We're going to use the customer form in this database. So if you haven't watched this yet, go watch it. Okay, so here I am in the tech help free template. This is a free database. You can download off my website if you want to. And in here, I've got a customer form and the customer has address, city, state, zip, and country. Now, we're going to assume this is their billing address. If you want to add a ship to address, the first thing we got to do is put these fields in the table. So let's go to our customer T, right click, design view. And I'm going to copy the address through country fields. So I'm going to click, drag, and let it go there. Now that I've got these selected, copy, control C. Now I'm going to come down to the bottom, click down here on that row like that, and then hit paste, control V. Boom. And there they go. Okay. Now we can't have fields with the same name. So we got to add something to them. I want to put ship two in front of each of those, All right? Copy that. And then we can click right there and paste, 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 and paste. And now to keep these all together, I'm going to select these guys, let the mouse go, then click on any one of them and drag it up and drop it right there. So they're all together in the same general area. So here's all the build to stuff and the ship to stuff. Do you have to rename these to build to address, build to city? No, you don't have to. You can leave them as they are. Um, if you do change these, most of the time, Access will rename these fields in your queries, forms, and reports that are based on them 99% of the time, but not always. And it doesn't go through your VB code. So if you are using VB code, it will not change your field names in there. So I like to leave these if they're already in a bunch of different places. It's not a big deal. All right, so this is good. Let's save it, close it. And now we got to add those fields to the customer form. So right click design view. I am going to just to make things easier here. I'm going to slide this stuff over to the right a little bit, get it out of the way. We're going to make this bigger like so. Let's grab these address fields and drag them down a little bit like that. And let's copy these. Copy and then paste. And they should go right down below. I'm going to slide them down even further. You'll see why in a second. Okay. Let's change all of these to their ship to counterparts, right? So double click to bring up the properties. And we're going to go to all. And here's the control source. I'm going to just start typing in ship. Oop, wrong one. It went to the label name. Hit escape there. Sometimes I just miss it like that, right? Click on control source. All right. Ship to address. There it is. We're going to also copy that and paste it as the name. I want the name of the text box to be the same thing as the control source. Why? You just do. Nine times out of 10, you just do. Okay. You want these to be named the same thing. There are exceptions, but that's, that's generally the rule. 
All right, do the same thing with city. Now I'm just gonna paste that in there and change this to city. See, and then copy, paste. And I'm just using the arrow keys and the keyboard, see? Learn the keyboard, Luke, <laughs> right? All right, state, and then zip. We'll just paste that in there, zip. And don't forget country. And yeah, you can do the same trick I did before where you just paste this strip to in front of it. This is, I don't know, whatever you like, whatever you want to do. Okay. And, and yes, you could go into the, the field list and grab them off of here, right there, and drag them over here, but then you got to lay them all out nice again. I, my way is easier, I think. I don't know, do whatever you like. like. There's a million ways to do everything in Access. That's one of the reasons why I love it so much. I get tons of comments in the comment section and people are like, well, you could do it this way. Yeah, you could do it that way. There's a, that's one, one of the great things about access. There's a million ways to do everything. Okay, so how are we gonna differentiate this to the user that that is the build to and that's the shift to? I'm gonna color code them and put a little label up top, right? Let's make a little bit more room here. Let's do this, watch. I'm gonna just copy a label, copy, paste, and then I'm gonna drag this guy up here like that. And I'm gonna put in here, bill two like that. Okay, and then copy, paste it again. We'll bring it down here, and we'll make this ship to. Like so. All right, we got a ship to and a build to label. All right. And now I'm going to slide these labels over just a little bit. Watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to select all of these, and then I'm going to hold the shift key down and select all of these ones. Okay, now grab this right side, slide that over just a little bit, and then grab the left side and slide it over just a little bit. And see what I did there? That's the easiest way, because these are all attached to these text boxes, right? So they're very hard to move individually. So using these little tricks, you can kind of slide things around easier. Okay, it's looking better. Now I'm gonna put a box around this. Let me make sure I'm gonna slide this down just a tiny bit more like that. There we go. All right, so let's go to form design and grab a rectangle, this guy right there. And I'm gonna draw it, and this is, this is totally stylistically. I'm gonna do it like this from there to about there, like that. And let's fill in with a color. I'm gonna go background color, dark blue. Oh, I don't wanna use the theme color, so I try not to use the theme color, standard colors. Let's go dark blue, like that. But it's blocking everything. Okay, right click, position. Oh, it's, it's out of the, I, let me move the thing down a little bit so you can see it. Right click, position, and then send to back. That's behind everything now. Okay, now, I want to turn off the border around it. So I'm going to click on this, go to format, and let's go to shape outline transparent because otherwise it won't merge with what I'm doing. All right, that border's gone. And now I'm going to take this guy, this label, and I'm going to apply the same format to it. Format, background color like that, and then it should already be transparent, but let's just make sure it's transparent. There. See how they kind of like match each other? Maybe even let's put a space in front of that like that. Okay, looking good, looking good. And finally, let's make all of these white foreground color. Like that. And I'm gonna bold this one. Ooh, that looks good, doesn't it? And now you can tell that's clearly the build-to stuff. See? I'm gonna copy this, copy, paste. And let's get it right so it's in the same spot like that. Okay, right click, position, send to back. I know it's off the screen, okay. Put a space in front of that ship too. Let's change this guy's background color so it's different. Let's make this maybe purple. That looks pretty good. Okay, click on you. Let's make you purple. And yeah, I collapse my ribbon when I'm recording videos because it's it takes up a lot of space, but you can just double click and that'll always be open then. That's up to you. I think we're done with it now, so I'm gonna close it back up again. And once again, let's make these all white. Well, I guess we're not totally done with it, are we? <laughs> and we'll bold that. Okay, formatting is done. That looks pretty, it looks good. Save it, close it. And if you open it back up again, it looks fantastic. I love the way that looks. Okay, but we gotta get to our little button there. We gotta put a button in the middle there so I can say, okay, take this stuff and copy it down here. All right. Well, now that we got all the setup done, right? We got everything we need set up. Now we can start building our macro and we'll do that in tomorrow's video. So tune in tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel, or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because that's one of the benefits that members get.
that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your Access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours. Go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four-hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. 
Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.